What's up everybody, let's build an app. We're gonna build an iOS and Android app only using JavaScript. What this means is when we finish, we're going to be able to publish our JavaScript code to the iOS store and also to the Google Play Store. And this is possible using React Native and Expo Go. All right, so I'm no novice here. I've built my own startup called Jam the Social App and we're a digital business card. And I bring this up because I built the app using the same tools I'm gonna to show you guys in this tutorial and in future tutorials. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is download VS Code. Visual Studio Code allows you to edit your files in a really simple way, and it's also free, which is great. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and install VS Code. It's also optional to add open with code. This is a shortcut to be able to open any folder using your Visual Studio Code. Once VS Code is installed, let's go ahead and set up Expo Go. So Expo Go is going to allow us to build our app, and it's also going to allow us to export our app. And most importantly, it's going to allow us to test our app while we're in the building phase. And we need an account so that way we can have the whole dashboard to work with. Plus, it's free for individuals. Here's what the dashboard looks like, and I'm using dark mode, but yours may be a white color instead. And this is gonna be where we manage our builds and where we manage our application. Now that we've set up our Expo Go account, now we actually need to download the Expo Go app. I'm using an Android device, so I'm gonna to go to the Play Store and I'm gonna install this Expo Go app on my phone. Let's initialize our Expo Go project. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have Node.js installed. So you can download Node.js for your device. As for me, I already have gone through this before and I have Node.js installed on my computer. A good way to check is if you open up CMD and you type in Node, this should be the output you get out. If you don't get this output out, chances are you don't have it properly installed and you can gladly go online and find a different video to install Node.js properly. Once we have our CMD opened up, we want to go into our documents directory. Here we can initialize our app. We're gonna say npx create expo app to create a blank template for our app. And then you wanna add a name to your app. So I'm gonna call it to do app. And now we get an error because our name cannot have spaces. Now we can sit back and wait for Expo to create our project. Let's go ahead and open up the new app. We're gonna CD into to do app, which is the same name we called it initially. And here we're gonna open it up in VS code. And the nice part here is we can actually open it up in our file explorer as well. So this is actually a folder on your computer. All right, now we have our boilerplate code we can start working with. So to test our app, we can simply go to our CMD and type in npx expo start. And this is going to start our application. And what we can do next is we can connect with our mobile device open up the Expo Go app on your phone and scan the QR code in your terminal. Once you do this, now your app is going to load on your phone. What I love about Expo Go the most is when you make changes in your code, it automatically refreshes and changes it on your phone. So now you can code, make changes and go back to your phone and without doing anything, you will now see those changes reflected. And this is something that's really nice because it makes it really easy to debug without having to rebuild the whole project. And this is part one on how to make an iOS and Android app using JavaScript. If you wanna stay tuned in for part two, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified right away. And shameless plug, check out Jam the Social app available on both the iOS and Play Store. All right, my stakeholders need me for my startup. See y'all.